Hello friends, today we will discuss some elements of defense and the counterattack, slip and punch inside and move away from the line of fire. And talking about the defense. Today we will learn how to slip and counterattack. I will show it on the heavy bag. I need a bag today because all my boxes have already left for today. So let's go down. Let's see. Imagine the opponent. I need to get inside. A very simple entrance. I'm getting inside, let's say, without a pre preliminary punch for simplicity, which is a bit dangerous, by the way. So, from a long distance I charge at the opponent, it's a quick movement, so most likely he will react to this movement with a straight punch. And I do not care which hand he will use for this punch, by the way. I can provoke him a couple of times, once, two, and with the third movement, from a long distance, I will make a slip. I literally I literally fall with my shoulders. I step, pay attention, I step and fall, pay attention. I'm not, that I fall first, I punch, uh, push myself with my opposite foot and fall. And my right foot steps after the fall automatically to catch my balance. Here I'm already inside, under his elbow. Let's say he threw his jab, which doesn't matter by the way. Now we need to counter punch him. And here's an interesting detail. I have rotated with my torso diagonally to make a slip. So if I counterattack, counterattack with my heel, with my hip, I will get opened like this. Uh, and I will straighten up. So I will counterattack with my shoulders only in a horizontal plane. Now the most natural movement with this punch will be left step. But it will get me even closer to the opponent, which I don't need anymore. I'm already very close. Besides, I will stay at the midline, at the line of fire. So when I start this contraction with my shoulders, I will make a very small step with my right foot. And with this right step, I will step off the line of fire, I will make an angle. So now I'm at the angle to my relative to my opponent in a much better position. I will call this little step a half step or a sub step. And I will continue my attack from the side. Again I will rotate first and the foot will step automatically after the punch. Now I need now a third punch. The third punch, my right shoulder is shoulder is right uh, above my right heel, I will rotate first and straighten up second and I finish with a hook. So your position gets better with every step and with every punch. Look again. My shoulder falls diagonally boom boom boom. Have you noticed how I moved off the midline? I have made made an angle with my first movement. Already I have rotated diagonally and I will counter-rotate in a horizontal plane to stay low. My foot will follow my rotation, so I'm attacking the opponent from his flank. Like this. And that was my little life hack, hack for today. I will, I will repeat again that at the close distance the footwork follows the punches in contrast to the long distance. I will start the punch with my hand, my shoulder and the hip movement comes after. I can go to the upper floor but it will always, I will always start the punch with my hands and shoulders. If you start the punch at the close distance with your hip and heel, your inertia will not reach the fist in time because the punch is short and the shoulder movement is also short is here especially with an uppercut so one more time boom 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 oh the bag has run away so to summarize fall with your shoulders 
counter-rotate and go to the side. If your primary movement will be a step like this, you will lose your inertia and you will get open. If you rotate and step with the opposite foot, you will stay at the line of fire. So step with the ipsilateral foot at the same side and you need to unload it a little to step. The shoulder rotation will help you to unload the right foot. You can step to the side and make an angle. So try it and use it. Thanks.